also on hand this week with dance instruction, and my guests are the Commodores. Some of the best dancers from around the country are here, and as always, our special guests are you, our audience. Now from their new album, Pura Chaka Khan and Gloria Gaynor with Fell in Love and I'm Every Woman. Hi, Wes Clark back with you with an interview with the Commodores. We've got William King here, and he's going to take you around and speak to some of the guys and introduce them. Okay, William? Right, I'll right. just give you the mic. How's okay. that? Of course, I'm William King. Now, hi. This is Lionel Richie here with his back to you, which is his best side. Hello, so, William King. Yeah. This is the lead right. singer and uh, saxophonist for the group. All right. This is Thomas Haven't McClary. Where we yeah, somewhere. <laughs> this is Thomas McClary. How are you doing? And what, what did you do, Thomas? I, last thing I was doing when I was with you guys uh, last night, I think I played. <laughs> Guitar and uh, you know background vocals. All right. And I was taking last week. Uh, Walter Horns played right the drums Walter. with us. All right, Clyde, you wanna come here and say hello oh, to everybody? I'm still with I'm us. Getting my right. energy. <laughs> <laughs> Eating grapes, getting my energy together. 
Yeah, yeah, this is Walter Orange, he's the drummer and the, the brick house singer for the group. And I sang a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Have a good show. Oh, I appreciate it. Same to you. And this is Ronald LaFred, way over here sitting down. Can you come here for a minute, Ronald? Ronald is one of the uh, eligible bachelors in the group. Ronald is right? most yeah, I'm right eligible. Away that. I'm right away after that. What did you do with that? Uh, I mean, keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the bass player and one of our writers and arrangers. And we do uniform, and I like these boys. All right. <laughs> All right. And of course, we have Mr. Mylon Williams. Mylon? Oh, yeah. This is, Marlon wrote the first tune that was a hit for the Commodores by the name of, by the name of Machine Gun. And this is the keyboard player. You all right tonight? You ready for tonight? Tenfold. All right. Marlon's also in the CB, which is um, a great fanatic of, uh, of us all, really. As a matter of fact, I hope he gets that cartoon thing on real soon. If I can. Captain Quick Draw Image. I like the thing that both we worked too hard for me to have time to deal with. Give him a break. Of course, we're doing like 92 cities in this particular tour. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, let us present all at one time. All at one time. Yeah, me. All at one time. All at one time. Right, those are the young men that are in black and white. And uh, they are a separate group called the Mean Machine, which uh, have a saxophone player, one trumpet player, get guitar player, and another saxophone player. And I don't think we could do without them. William, you just finished a movie with Donna Summer that is making money all over the country. The album's out. You've got a new album out with the Commodores, too, Natural High, is that right? Right. And a new single coming up from that album? That's right. The new single is called uh, Flying High. It's a follow-up to, of course, Three Times a Lady, which uh, Mr. Richard Lionel wrote. He's uh, elsewhere at the moment, but uh, it's a follow-up, and uh, it's an up-tempo type of tune, uh, but it's mostly uh, pop-oriented with... Uh, a little jazz, a little this, a little that, but it's really a nice, nice tune. Compliment you on that single, which is now number one in Britain, we understand, this week. I think it's number four in uh, Australia, is that right? And still in the top ten albums uh, in the United States. Oh, yeah. Uh, the song Three Times a Lady was a super, super hit for us because it was number one on pop, number one on um, uh, easy listening, number one on um, R&B. It was also country and western. Of course, we didn't do the country and western version. But we did it in such a way that it was uh, able to be turned over into a country western singer. And he has only charts now. I think another fine compliment is the fact that uh, Johnny, M Johnny Mathis is planning to do it oh, uh, yeah. in oh, the yeah. near future. That's always a fine fact. I mean, you know, and uh, someone told me that Frank Sinatra was planning on doing some of the tunes. So it's just really super to us to hear that the super superstars, that the world really knows, the household names, plan to do songs that we've had something to do with. Wes Clark back. We've got Mark Wright with us. How's it going, Mark? And uh, Lisa Kimes okay. and Michael. Are you going to do a la dance lesson? For I'm us? Here. No, I'm going to let these two do it. Uh, I'm just going to describe it. I don't feel like moving this week, so I'm going to let these two tear up the dance floor. Well, I'm going to move out of your way if you'll let me do that. Okay, go good enough. Good enough. All right. This week, uh, we're going to do a rendition of uh, the West Clark Shuffle, a little bit a variation on it, and uh, these two lovely people are going to do it for us, okay? This is the way it goes. We're going to do the same thing we did when we started the West Clark Shuffle. We're going to do a one, two, three step to the left, a one, two, three step to the right, and instead of doing a kick and a step, we're going to twist. One, two, three, and you do the kick step all over again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Twist. And then start again. Okay, I'll do that. That's how, I wish I could move that good. It's not as strenuous as the West Clark Shuffle since you don't have to put the kick in, you just twist on your toes. Okay, come on. I want everybody to try and do this step. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Clark back. That's magic in the background with music magic. And speaking of magic, with us on this week's show is Mark Sherman, owner of Harvey. Mark's the man that's handling the Dance Harvey's Dance Contest that's going on through Tuesday, November 28th. The, winner, the winning couples in the semifinals will be competing on our hour special, which airs December 13th at 8 p.m., preempting Dick Clark's Live Wednesday. And that's where the magic comes in. On the special, our viewing audience will be asked to cast their ballots for the grand prize winners, and that lucky couple, the grand prize winners, will receive two color television sets and will qualify to win a trip to South America for two. That's given away by Harvey's Disco. We're continuing the show with magic in the background and Harvey's owner here with us, Mark. Welcome to dance. Hi, Wes. You're probably the authority in this part of the country on disco. Where do you see it headed in the next uh, couple of months? Well, it's been around for approximately 10 years, and I think it's going to be around for about 10 more years. Speaking of the dance contest, again, that, that we're both involved with, uh, how's the response been so far? The first week we did it, we got 15 couples, and it was a madness of mayhem that fell on Halloween night, and it was a crazy time, and you got to see Count Dracula dancing with Wolfman, and I think the couples, are, the enthusiasm is really getting to be tremendous. I think we're going to see a lot more of the couples now. It's been built up tremendously, and it's a lot of fun. I think Columbia is moving into the disco area just as everybody else, and it's going to be tremendous, and I can't wait to get on with the rest of the weeks in the final competition. For those of you that haven't been out to Harvey's, you des you, you, your, your body deserves that, your mind deserves that, your soul deserves it. Go out and listen, enter into the contest, and try to win those TV trip, the TV sets of the trip to South America. We're going to get out of here and let these dancers dance, and we'll be back with you later in the show. Thank you for being with us, Mark. Hey, Wes.
Russ Clark back. Have you seen these? Have you seen these? If you'll write into the show, we can tell you how you can get some of these things. Aren't they cute? Bruce and uh, Rochelle, thanks for being with us tonight. I'd like to thank uh, Lisa Kimes for being with us on the show. Thank you, Lisa. Mark, helping us with the dance instruction. And Mark Sherman. Mark, it was good to have you here. Thank you, Wes. Tell you what you can do. If you want to see more of Mark, go on out to Harvey's and uh, sign up for our dance contest. Mark, you'll be back with us on the special. Is that right? I sure will. I'm going out there to party now. Are you going out to party a little bit tonight? Party. We'd also like to thank the Commodores and you, our special guests. Good night, everybody. Good night. Well, my pad is